are at Chidorigafuchi Park and it's one of the most famous places to see sakura. The day is just going to be filled with a lot of sakura sightseeing spots, so I hope that you're ready for that. We've been here since 8 maybe 8.40 and the line is already super long for the boats. It's on every guidebook out there, so yeah, this is the reality. It's really, really long. <laughs> Finally made it to the front of the line. It's about what time is it? 9:20. We got here at 8:40, so kind of a wait. But we're so excited because we were able to make the cutoff, which is great. So we only have 30 minutes, which is more than enough time, I think. Shogo is a little bit worried because he doesn't have a lot of upper body strength, so I think we might have to alternate. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go, Shogo. Okay, together. One, two, three, go. Oh, it's not going. Oh, okay. Nope. 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 Yes, so, we're finally in the lake. Well, not lake, it's more of a moat. And Shogo got the hang of rowing his boat. So, <laughs> we're doing good. We were stuck there for a while. I was scared we were never gonna leave the pier. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. The people at the pier kept having to push us back into the into the water. Oh, we're gonna hit the tree, Shoko. Shoko, I don't wanna hit. I don't wanna hit the tree. Get that. You're not supposed to touch it. Actually, it's it's pretty bad if you touch it. So, I just wanted a picture, but Shogo somehow got me really really close. <laughs> It's your time with Mr. Robot. So fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now to get back. No, we're not going back. What? Is this the right way? No I way. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to push it back. You know, why didn't we Google how to do a robot, right? We were in line for such a long time. We should have done that. Are you enjoying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess. So we just finished boating at Chidoriga Fuchi. It was really funny. Um, I think we might do that again, maybe in five years, because I don't think I can wake up that early just to ride a boat <laughs> anymore. But props to Shogo, he did so well. Yeah, <laughs> I need food anyway. Yeah, we're gonna eat lunch in a little bit, um, another sakura themed place. And now we're back at our old neighborhood actually which is pretty near Chidoriga Fuchi and we're just walking around the best part about our old neighborhood is that it was filled with sakura trees and I'll show you in a minute it's so beautiful this time of year which is something about a beautiful blue day and sakura the past few weeks have been utterly depressing because of how cloudy it's been but yeah happy that there is a nice sunny day So we still have about an hour before our lunch reservation. So we decided to just head over to the Starbucks right across the street and chill out here for an hour or so. Shogo really wanted to try this new seasonal drink by Starbucks. What's it called? Uh, Furutsu Frappuccino. And we got some donuts. Of course, we got the sakura donut and normal sugar donut. And I got my usual chai tea. Mm. So Thank you. 
So we made it to our reservation at Canal Cafe. I've always, always wanted to eat here actually. But reservations are really hard to get, so you have to reserve at least a week or two in advance. There are actually two reservations. So first reservation is on the deck, which is more exposed to like sakura, but it's cold. The second reservation is actually inside the restaurant part. Cons, it is a little bit more expensive than it would be on the deck because the deck only has like finger food and stuff like that, but obviously the restaurant has a bigger meal. So far, the view that they got us was right beside the deck, so it's kind of like a win-win situation. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind I'm in a new neighborhood called Musashi Kosugi. I've only been here once before because this place is known to be a very family friendly neighborhood and obviously I do not have any kids so this isn't the place for me but it is like on the way back from Shogo's parents house and he had to say goodbye to his brother because he's going to England next week to study English so It'll be the last time they're together as a family for a really long time. Shogo and I, our plan basically is just to explore the area, maybe go to a cafe, have lunch. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> There's not really much to do here because it's really more for kids and like I said, family. So let's see what we can find. Yesterday we had yakiniku and I think I ate way too much meat so today Shogo and I actually opted to have udon or soba because it's raining it just feels like the right mood to have a really warm bowl of soba. little cafe and it's only open on the weekends and Wednesday so it's kind of good timing for us even if it's really rainy today we were lucky enough to be the first customers at the cafe it's really homey and I feel like you can really relax here there's so many books and I think there's also an art gallery and they also have a lot of pop-up events so if you're ever in Musashi Kosugi or like the Kawasaki area I think it would be worth it to just come to this cafe alone. It's really nice and you can spend an afternoon reading. I like that they have like a sofa area and they even have like these blankets for the customers. I think it's so cute and homey. And yeah, Shogo is really enjoying looking through all the different kinds of books that they have here. It's like a mini library, I'm gonna say. The rain's really coming down hard right now, so it's good that we were able to come in in the nick of time. Ooh, yeah, they have all the game inside. Uh, see? Looks good, Tifa. I had a like, red one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also had the red one. Yeah, this one. Was it expensive at the time? Uh, oh my god, it's almost Ichiman. Mm -hmm. you get up if you want this one. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it? Wow, 
就要了。Today I'm walking to Chigaya Bakery, which is a bakery that I've been really wanting to go to. I spotted it on Google Maps, so I'm gonna go walk there during my lunch break and see what kind of treats that they have. Another day, another cafe. <laughs> Let's go, shall we? lunch at Chigaya Bakery and oh my god it was so worth the nearly 20 minute walk from my office and I definitely will be back. It was so good. It was really cute. You can tell they really paid attention to the interiors of the place and it was basically like if you really like cottage core stuff you'll enjoy just eating and sitting down and looking out into the neighborhood there so really happy i went now i'm going to go back to my office i still have some tasks today so yeah Sorry, I'm not filming in my usual spot, which is at home. There was a lot of construction this morning. I have no idea why. Anyway, um, I just wanted to give you a few updates to explain the last few clips of the vlog. Basically, I'm resigning from my current position at the end of the month because I'm planning to go back home to the Philippines for a short vacation. I'll be home from May 1 until May 22, so that's about three weeks. and. I'm so excited. Like, I might not sound it right now, but I really, really am. It's been two years since I've gone home, and so much has changed since I've gone home. Unfortunately, last year, my grandfather passed away, and I wasn't even able to go home for that. And he was like my dad, so I'm really happy to be finally able to go home and i've been keeping it a secret because i just didn't know what was gonna happen after i told my company about the dates that i planned and unfortunately again i'm not able to work remotely so i just had to resign but it's okay like there's no bad blood i'm really happy to have been given the opportunity to work here six months were really short I really just want to see my family and just be home again. I've been so homesick. I'm not sure if you can tell from my vlogs. That's the big update. So starting May, I won't have a job, but it. I guess it's okay too because even before I graduated from university, I was already working. I just never really had any opportunity to rest. Even when I came to Japan, I think I quit my office job in the Philippines like Feb or March. And by April, I already started my part-time job in Japan. So I've just never been out of a job and this is the first time in my life. I'm a little bit scared, but everything's gonna work out in the end. So don't worry about me. 
I'll be just fine. Um, moving on to something lighter, I did want to share two shows that I've been obsessed with this week. Okay, so last week it was Pachinko. I'm still obsessed with Pachinko, although it's only one episode a week. Um, and I've kind of been in the mood to binge watch. So the first thing that I binge, binge watched was Bridgerton season 2 and I have Maha to thank for that. So before we ate barbecue together, we actually watched a few episodes of Bridgerton and I really really liked it. So I just binged it um, on my own. Initially Shogo was also interested then yeah eventually I couldn't wait for him anymore so I just watched it by myself. The second thing that Shogo and I and my sisters have been watching is Old Enough or Hajimete no Otsukai and it's just a show about toddlers in Japan being given their first tasks um, by their parents to either retrieve something, buy something. Uh, and it's been so much fun seeing the countryside because a lot of it is actually shot in the countryside of Japan. And it just reminds me, I still have so many places I want to go to. It's been such a relief. And if you guys have any suggestions on where to go and what to see in Manila, I would love to hear it. Things that we have planned so far, we're going to go to Bohol, Tagaytay, Las Casas, and Baguio so far. I really want to show Shogo around, it's his first time and of course I'll be vlogging the whole time. I don't know what to call it, obviously it's not living in Tokyo, it's living in Manila but yeah. I'm um, just excited to document it and I hope you guys have been having a good week. I'm sorry for suddenly, I guess, surprising you with the news that I'm leaving my job but yeah, it just has to be done. Like Family comes first if the pandemic has taught me anything, it's that family will always come first. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. It was a little bit chaotic, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe. Bye!